Alright guys, let's do this. Let's finish these damn sewers. We've now unlocked all the doors. We can go back into the police station. Marvin, how you doing fella? Just gonna... We're just gonna... Uh, you wanna come in here? He wants to come in here. Oh, he's going to make it as well. Did not think that was possible. Well, Marvin. I'll see you later, buddy. Probably not. Sad times. Well, anyway, welcome back to this little let's play of Resident Evil 2, the remake of the original classic gem, Resident Evil 2. It does bug me, you know. When they remake things, they don't call it something else. They just call it what it was. <laughs> so now, I don't know what to call it, Resident Evil 2, RE2 classic. I mean, these are classical first world problems, it's really not that big a deal. Right, so we've basically done what needs to be done in regards to exploration. So we're just going to go now and get all the puzzle bits that we need. No, I don't want that. I'm going to need to go back and get my uh, magnum ready handgun though because these little bastards down here in the sewer water I actually think maybe the sewers weren't infected with the zombie virus maybe this is just uh, what the sewers in Raccoon City were always like just sad, you know? That's a mercy kill. Alright. Let's get cracking. We're going to want all sorts of stuff going down into the filthy sewers so actually we don't want all of that we just want the blue just want the blue one high powered rounds there it is we'll dutch that Plenty of space. Plenty of room. Get what we came for. You alright? What's the, uh... What are you looking at? Never mind. Forget him. He's, uh... He's spaced out. I understand how it is, you know, he's probably had a long week down working in the sewers. And all this has gone on. Not part of his contract, I imagine. We've just got to find our way back. Could consult our map. Not the most useful map, though, unfortunately. Sewer levels. We discussed it before, but... They really are the worst part of any game, I think. Even this one. Like, the sewers in this game are not nearly as bad as the sewers in the original, from what I remember. 
Uh, I think they're expanded in this a touch, but you know, at least we've got graphics on our side now. Come the wrong way. Never mind. Just start again. <laughs> God. Okay, navigation. What even is navigation? He's still looking at that. Whatever it is he's looking at, isn't he? He's not interested. We are drawing to a close of Resident Evil 2, by the way. It may not seem like it now. Crawling around in the sewers, not knowing where to go, but... We're pretty close to the end of the game. Oh! Seriously? Yeah, seriously? Man. That's... <laughs> I mean, I feel, I feel bad about that, you know. That guy we kind of... <laughs> the first one we kind of had a bond with you know apart from Marvin we let Marvin live uh, rightly so because I mean Marvin helped us out he was a good guy all oh, right I could have just gone this way the whole time egg on my face never mind right we'll look get the uh, the magnum out now because we're about to go in really into the shit It's, yeah, I mean, it's pretty grim. Again, though, I reckon it'd be pretty much like this. With or without the zombies, to be honest. Jesus. But what is all this shit? Everywhere. Anywho. Right. You might think you can get round the guy. There he is, l lurking in the sewer. You might think maybe we can get round him. You're never correct. I don't even know what I tried. I knew it was how that was going to end up. And of course, because it's a sewer level, just get immediately turned around. Oh, forget it. We'll just shoot him. Got to get him in that little eyeball, though. Oh, quick, look, he's distracted. See ya. Wow, he let he let his team down there, I think. And him. Oh wow. Maybe I'll get out of this without using the magnum at all. <laughs> I did as well. Oh dear. Must be an off day for the zombie hordes, the mutant menace. I wonder what the Daily Mail would make of all this. How would they blame it? On white bread. Or Europe, I don't know. To be actually, you know what? That's probably what they do, isn't it? They would blame it on Europe because uh, Chris Redfield. What's he doing? Is he here to stop the zombie outbreak? No, he's gone to stare at statues in the Louvre or something. What a prick, Claire. Your brother's got some explaining to do, mate. If he ever comes back. Alright. This is one of the more annoying puzzles in the game. Just because it requires you to remember anything. <laughs> you know, most of the puzzles in Resident Evil... Like, Resident Evil was never truly about puzzle solving. Uh, it was more about like their the whole escape room mechanic thing they've got going on where you you find a key and it opens up other areas which lets you find the next key you need and it's just sort of about exploring every room uh, the survival horror franchise that was about the puzzles was Silent Hill and uh, that's dead isn't it now dead forever because instead of just making his game Uh, Hideo Kojima thought he'd be 
an artiste of some sort and uh, create some boring uh, corridor demo thing that wasn't scary um, once you realised that it's just a video game ultimately and uh, it's nothing to be scared of you know a little ghosty can't hurt you, not in real life and uh, because of the nature of what it was, like it was a demo uh, and an advert at the same time uh, you know it was quite easy it was quite straightforward to to complete I think I mean I never personally <laughs> completed it myself my friend he got me to play like a few levels or like a few different corridors of uh, PT and uh, I couldn't hack it man I just I couldn't I couldn't fuck with it because I mean, you just walk down the corridor. Uh, the the spooky thing jumps out, uh, and you just sort of have to wait until the game decides. You know what? Yeah, you've had enough. You can uh, move on to the next repetition of the uh, of the corridor. It just sort of went on like that for ever until you found out that Norman Reedus was going to be in uh, Silent Hill. So it's like, okay, I suppose if that's what you want to do. Anyway. This actually wasn't that difficult. I hyped it up. I bigged it up too much. I was like, this puzzle whew, was a real cracker. Uh, and I was wrong. And for that, I apologise. Never my intention to give you a false sense of uh, of hope that you'll get to see me struggle. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Right, let's crack on. We've got our sci-fi weapon now. Fun fact, when I first played this game, I had no idea how this weapon was supposed to work. And as a result of that, I properly fucked it. And I just sort of... did everything wrong. Um, and that I'll explain what why uh in a second when we when we use it to get some revenge on these little bastards so when you uh there's a little note that you can find in that room with this gun that says you know um instructions for use like don't let it overcharge or it'll explode um you know and it'll be it'll be really dangerous and i was like oh okay so like the idea is you just sort of have to you pump him full of electric and then you let it go before it overheats or um, or it could cause you damage or it could break the weapon or something weird like that. Um, but no, it actually turns out you're supposed to use the weapon incorrectly so that it does explode and therefore causes massive damage. Uh, and as you can see, it's far more effective than our grenade launcher, uh, which shoots literal acid out of a fucking grenade uh, onto people like why would who invented that weapon is what I want to know who invented the grenade launcher that literally douses your foe in fucking corrosive acid because if you if these weren't zombies if this wasn't a mutant outbreak um, that's fucking well dangerous mate like, forget about it. Like, police in the real world, they get enough flack for using fucking water cannons on people. Imagine that. A fucking police just going around shooting people who are doing a friendly protest with acid grenade launcher rounds. Like, holy shit. Like, they had it in their police station. Maybe it was confiscated, but it was in their weapons locker. So don't forget that. The Raccoon Police Department, not not innocent. They're not innocent people. Don't feel bad. What I'm saying is don't feel bad for anyone that died in the Raccoon City incident. Um, because from what I've seen and what we know, uh, everyone in Raccoon City was a massive prick. So, not to worry. Right. I'm going to go back to our puzzle room now. We've got all the bits. 
We've got all the bits we need. So the guy... I don't know what the, the history behind this is, but the guy... Actually, I do kind of know what the history behind this is. The guy who designed these sewers was proper into chess. <laughs> he made... Like, in uh, in Resident Evil 2, the original like RE2 classic, uh, it was even weirder, because, like, you find a note that was, like, a, a letter from the mayor of the city, uh, who's like, oh, mate, you're... We'll give you free reign to design our sewers in whatever way you see you fit. Whatever, whatever you think's best. Who would do that? <laughs> just, just gives it. Whatever you want to do, mate. You know, however convoluted it is, we want you to have a good time. We want you to design, you know, not an efficient sewer system, not something that's practical for workers. Just whatever you feel. Use your intuition. And the guy was like, oh, mate, I've got... Have you heard of this game? It's called Chess. Uh, it's new out, I think. It's just released, he said. And um, I want to do something based on that. And they said, yeah, that's fine. You know, whatever you feel is going to be best. So he designs these little plugs that raise and lower the bridges in the, in the sewers in chess piece shapes but then he like hides them around the sewer I don't understand it I mean this the way it's done in this game makes a tiny amount more sense because it's just this one door that he's designed but then I guess it isn't is it because he it also controls those gates in that other little sewer bit I mean I don't know I mean who knows why do people do these things in Resident Evil questions for another day maybe maybe we'll find out in Resident Evil 3 if they remake that huh <laughs> right here we go blue herb don't need that anymore we're done with poison for now we got out of that all right we did pretty good should watch a video who remembers videos this was real life you'd have to fucking rewind that Kirkpatrick. These lads are having a bad day. Oh. It's our mate, the eyeball. Oh, it's the fucking rats, mate. It's the fucking rats. The fucking rats. It did start in the sewer. It wasn't even a, a lab-made virus. It was just some rats in the sewer. They were, Umbrella was trying to make Ninja Turtles. It all makes sense now. Right, here we go. This is a fucking dickhead puzzle. Pretty sure the Rook and the Knight are on the same wall and the Bishop and the Queen aren't next to each other. The Queen and the Rook are opposite each other too. So, the idea here is that you plug the little chest bits into the appropriate slot, but some dickhead has taken all the pictures off. So we have to guess now where they belong. Brilliant. So we know this one. That's correct. The pawn is in the right place. This one, wrong as well. This is the little horsey one. Let's get rid of this video. That was a crap film. I wouldn't watch it again. Right. Night plug. Get that one in there. So now we've got two points of reference. What's next? The Rook and the Knight are on the same wall. The Bishop and the Queen aren't next to each other. The Queen and the Rook were opposite each other. Right, so the Rook has to go on this wall. We know that one. What's there? The Bishop. He can't live there. Bishop and the Queen aren't next to each other. keep reading this the bishop and the queen aren't next to each other the queen and the rook are opposite each other and the rook and the knight are on the same wall right 
So if I put the rook here, I'll put the queen here. Put the queen next. Put the king next to it. Huh? Why not? Bishop and the queen, the rook and the knight on the same wall, and then there's a bishop. Hey, there we go. Points of reference and logical reasoning. Right, I can do it. On my way. We are on our way. Oh, blue herb. Nice. Always finding potted herbs in the sewers. Common, common to find actually. It's a little known fact. Power must be out. Why is the power out to just this bit? Ah well. Never mind, eh? Oh look, a red one as well. Do you think the fact that we found all the ingredients for a super herb suggests that something bad might be coming round the corner? Do you think it could be that? Probably. This one? Puzzle? Bit of a guessing game. To be honest, I don't know. There you go. <laughs> There's literally, literally no logic to that that I used anyway. I'm sure there's a logical way to do it, but um, fuck it. I mean, when in doubt, just guess, mate. Uh oh. Shit. These sewers, from a level design standpoint, or at least from a, a challenge design standpoint, I have a feeling these sewers were designed by James Cameron. You know. Or at least someone who's very familiar with his early work that was, you know, good. Uh, this is Terminator 2. You seen that? Terminator 2? Brilliant film. One of those classics that holds up. CGI in it. A little bit wonky by today's standards. But then CGI today mostly looks shit anyway, so who cares? Sort of run around this one. Oh, you all right? That was I don't know what what he was playing at there. Why would he die? You saw him kill Mr. X, and then what? You got knocked out. So what? For what reason would you think he'd be dead? Anywho, this is probably, with one exception, and it isn't in Claire's campaign either, uh, the worst boss fight of the game. Actually, you know, you know what? I think there's two boss fights that are worse than this. Uh, they're both in Leon's campaign, though. What a surprise there. Oh, we'll have a little shoot. Shoot this little eyeball. So... This boss fight, the first time you play it, you could be like, oh, this is well hard. You're on a little platform with him. And that's sort of true. But his attack, very predictable for the most part. Sometimes it'll catch you like that. But that's all right, we've got plenty of herbage now. Um, you might think, oh, shit, what do I do? Oh, and I fucked it. There's me getting arrogant, saying it was about to say it's so easy now. Um, but I didn't do my due diligence. And I fucked it, mate. So, you may have worked it out. The idea is that you uh, you get this little box. And you got to swing it at uh, your boy. William. Little William, little Billy. Oh God. Now I'm just eating ass, what's going on? Um, yeah, so you just sort of shoot at your boy Billy here until he goes down onto his little knee, like that. And you just... I got a surprise for you. It's not much of a surprise, look, it's pretty obvious. It takes a while. He's almost up. He's almost up. 
Right, we got him. You gotta do it again. You know, the first time you play it, you might be like, oh my god, like, how am I gonna do this? Like, nothing I'm doing is taking him down. Arena's tiny. Obviously, if you're not completely stupid, you'll notice the big swinging cargo container. Um, but, yeah, like, basically, once you know how it's done, sort of what the pattern is, and that you have to take him down. Oh, he didn't like that. Oh, what? Your man's got a bigger combo than uh, Dark Souls. Oh, I can't forgive that hitbox. I definitely shot him there. Claire. She's getting better at those uh, quips, you know. She's become classic action movie uh, heroine as we've gone on. Nah. Nah. Like, come on. That's... In reality, if the, if the initial impact of, of that container didn't just send him sparkers. I'm so sorry, Sean. Um, this is taking Like, there's no way. Like, he, he took all the momentum out of it. So, if you were to then say, <laughs> oh, you know, he caught it, but then it, it continued to push, and he couldn't hold it. Like, it wouldn't, though. It definitely <laughs> wouldn't do that in real life. But, hey, I guess in real life we don't have super mutants that can push boxes around but then who's to say we still haven't raided area 51 oh what now she cares oh no before she didn't give a shit sherry claire sherry are you all right how'd she even get in, in here man Took me what forever to get in here. I'm here to help. Sherry's been implanted. She can't be saved. Are you fucking kidding me? You're her mother. Get in here! You don't understand. William is still out there, and if I don't stop him, this conversation is over. Still out there, mate. Wait! You just crushed him with a big Wait. box. I can treat her in my lab. It's not far away. What? Oh, man, th this lady, there's no consistency. <laughs> like, no, like, she's no, Claire, Sherry's fucked. Just forget it. We'll smoke a joint and just leave her down there. Uh, and then, like, two seconds later, she's like, oh, actually, yeah, no, I can definitely easily treat it in my lab, mate. What? Why is Umbrella I'm making a cure for this anyway? Don't worry, I will get you whatever you need, okay? Like if their goal was to create an unstoppable super virus that makes big mutants, why would they make a cure? I don't know. Again, more inspiration from James Cameron's Aliens. That's what the uh, little little uh, sewer jaunt where we went into that little nest. That's what that was. That was aliens. <laughs> if you didn't work it out. Uh, yeah, just to finish my thought from that boss fight, which was just Terminator 2. Um, this bit's aliens, mate. Annette said her lab's not far. Wait, that cable car. Yeah. There's a cape or anything now. We just have to run because got little Sherry in our arms. Little Sherry. Hold on, Sherry. I'm glad we got rid of this. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not. I'm still not glad. I'm still upset that this zombie had to die. Cause he was all right, you know. He was just hanging out, staring at whatever was on the ceiling. If we hadn't killed him, he'd be gone now. He'd have just gone off, been on his merry way. Cable car. Ah well, he's a deado. 
with or without my help. That was convenient. <laughs> what, was, what was your game plan going to be, Claire, if you were like... <laughs> Mate, if she didn't have that, <laughs> you'd have been okay. fucked. <laughs> Hang on, how is uh, how is Annette getting to the lab then? Sherry, okay. Has she got an easier fine. way? Of course she does. Everyone in Resident Evil, like... The Resident Evil protagonists are like the dumbest Check people. Everything. Better check everything, mate. There's no turning back. That's it. That means you're going into the final level. All video games teach you that exact same thing. That your brain will warn you in form of an internal monologue. When you can never go back. This tram if only that were true, eh? Do not exit until the final destination. Well, I hope we don't go to final destination. Because then even if we survive will become part of more and more disappointing sequels I'll wait. That's exactly what happened in Resident Evil, isn't it? Uh, hey. Are you okay? Hang on, so is Sherry like deceptively big? Or is Claire literally like a midget? Because that jacket doesn't look that big on her. <laughs> And she's six, Claire. You'd probably be dead about six times all over. You were doing just fine without me. So I came along and got you all sorts of trouble. I have something of yours. I don't want it. Really? Why not? It's so pretty. It's from my mom. For my birthday last year. Uh, Fucking weird gift. Uh, really it's got like that home. symbol on the back from the cult that was in Conan the Barbarian. Do you remember that? Like and like, Arnie's like, there are two snakes uh, facing each other. Uh, That's sure. what that was. So, as it turns out then, this is part of the Robert E. Howard expanded universe and Hang in there, okay? the G-Virus yeah. was created by yeah. Thulsa yeah. Doom all along. It's nice that they got a proper voice actor to do some of these lines for once, you. isn't it? Come Don't on. get that a lot in survival horror games. Maybe you do now, actually. Voice acting's come a long way since 1998, when uh, you had brilliant dudes like uh, Kendo, the, dr the gun store owner. It was like, on, stay away from me! I got a gun shop! And somehow that wasn't the first place looted to high heaven. Stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. Nah, mate. I'm a rebel without a claw. Uh, without a <laughs> without a clause. I'm a rebel without a cause, mate. I'll do whatever I like. Investigate the lab. It's gonna be tricky while I'm holding this small child. Put her down there. Don't mind that blood. I'm sure it's not riddled with hepatitis. All right. Now what? Uh, yeah. Now what? Huh. There's got to be something here. Antiviral. Agent. There's a fella's got a fucking emails. Is this nineteen? Was emails a thing in 1998? They must have been. Hey, Sherry. I gotta go. Probably. You stay right here. I don't know. Pain. Time is difficult, isn't it? I, and I email was around a lot longer Honestly. before the big, the big internet communication boom, like where everyone tweets you memes all day, obviously, but uh, I don't know. Who knows, it's Resident Evil, mate, I don't want to know why I'm worried about anachronisms. This, first, this guy's like drawn a little ha map for you that gets digitized like or does it yeah it does like it get like she digitizes this map somehow i guess she digitizes all the maps somehow one grenade one one fucking grenade jesus why have they even got a grenade 
Well, I don't know what to be more angry about. Whether they had a grenade. Or they only had one grenade. Like, I feel like if you're going to have grenades, you should have all the fucking grenades. We want to get rid of these now. We actually do want fire rounds now. And um, I've only got two, so joke's on me. Oh, wait, I've got fucking ten there. <laughs> oh, someone came prepared after all. Yeah, we want fire rounds now, mate. Acid rounds, all well and good. Uh, don't even want that. It's one bullet. That'll do. Okay. We'll do a little save here. How long have I got? I got a little while. We'll tackle some of this lab, why not, while we're here. How many submachine gun bullets have I got? Probably not a lot. I didn't make... Oh, I've got fucking loads. I've got fucking loads, mate. I've got so many. All right. What should we ditch? Flashbang. We'll get the submachine gun out. It is actually surprisingly useful for this section of the game. Did I get the silencer? I must have, did, I, did I not get it? I did. I was going to say. Why would I not? I'm sure I, was, I made a point to go back and get it. There we go. Takes up two slots now though. That's... Ah, puts me on edge. I have to get rid of this. I don't like that it takes up... I'll store that as well. I don't like that it takes up more than one slot now. You need... So you don't need a huge amount of inventory space for going through the lab because there's item boxes all over the shop but it does make it a lot quicker if you have the room because you don't have to keep going backwards and forwards to the fucking boxes. Eee. There we go, we can go in here. Zombie there. Oh, it's coming quick. Right. Get around him. Oh, what's that? Needle cartridge. Oh yeah, for the uh, the spark gun. Oh no! That's just annoying, man. All right. All right. Oh come on! Give me a break. Don't need all this. I just want to explore like a normal fucking person. If I was on a day trip to this lab, like bring your kid to work day, I'd be fucking well disappointed. But like, mate, can I go and get a hot dog from your canteen? They'd be like, yeah, you can, but you gotta watch out for your flesh. Because it might get nibbled on. What were they cooking? Pancakes. They're making fucking pancakes in the lab. Who makes scra- God, this is sick. Who makes scrambled eggs? On a fucking hob like that? What the fuck is wrong with it? Are they not, do they not have a fucking frying pan in here? They're not allowed pans. It's like they're cooking a brush as well. Get fucking filth on that. God. Ugh. I mean, your lab's going to get shut down, mate. Not because it's creating a super virus. That's just the point of labs, isn't it? But. Shit. Fuck off. There we go. Alright. Yeah, not because you're creating a super virus, mate, but just because you. I got one grenade there. But because you've got fucking hygiene standards. Or more importantly, you don't have hygiene standards. There you go. Get a better, better visitor pass. I go to the good bits of the lab. Require level 2 access. I don't want to go to this shit whole bit. One grenade. Why have they got a fucking grenade in their nap room or whatever? Fucking 
freaking weird. Alright. Alright, never mind. Fuck all in there. Fuck all in there. But this guy had an upgrade for a gun that you could find in, a, in the sewer. Why was it in the sewer? Fuck if I know. Should I just off him? Oh, I don't have much ammo. Fuck it. Get him in this. Have his legs. Have his fucking legs off. There we go. I guess we've got free reign to be a little bit Rambo. I don't even have to go back in here now. Oh god! No, don't fucking come and get me. Have your legs off and all. Ruining my lunch. Right. There's got to be something good in here. I'm sure there is. But you just got to watch out for your little footsies. What's he got? He's got a proper grenade. Fucking hell. This lot were preparing for a war. I ain't getting involved in that. That's a domestic. Those two are hanging out still. I bet you he's got up. Oh wait, he can't. <laughs> Had your legs, didn't I, mate? You alright? Just, just be calm. Righty ho. Dr. Lee, your presence is urgently requested by Chief Cartwright in the East Area. Have they got an AI? What is this place, man? Nice, make that better. Got some more little bullets for it. Put those away. Put that away. I don't need to keep that on me though. Right, I think that is about all the time. Seven minutes left, but I'm going to cut this part short because I can't be bothered to explore any more in this bit. So. Thanks for watching, guys. That's been it for this part of Resident Evil 2. Uh, we are so close to the end now. So if you do want to tune in for the finale, watch the next bit and potentially the part after. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to get through this. 